I can safely say that the, the two uh, common attributes to a successful project is great relationships and a clear contract. So if that's got to be our target for when we start on major projects, and that starts at the, uh, at the tender phase, where uh, when we're given a brief to look at, we do a thorough estimate, a competent estimate, to make sure that we've got the work breakdown structure right and we've got the pricing right. Any elements of uh, uncertainty or ambiguity, we always take back to the client to, uh, to ensure that uh, the risk is being allocated appropriately. Pretty much always that results in, uh, in us taking some risk and we make sure that we have that risk appropriately priced as well. So that's, that's how we start. And uh, from a financial point of view, what we want to do is take the financial stress out of both sides. So the whole team can concentrate on getting the job done rather than worrying about variations, budgets, and all, the, all of that sort of stuff. So that's why it's important to have the price right. For us, cash flow is, is very important that we have it as close as possible to neutral. Uh, or a little bit negative, that's fine. So that's, that's also part of the tender process and we like to uh, negotiate an outcome that, uh, that provides that. Uh, so that takes that part of the stress off of us. Then on the, uh, the post-award side of things, the very important to have alignment from, uh, from day one. So a good solid alignment session and ongoing reviews of that during the course of the project are important to make sure everyone's looking towards the same goals. We ensure that we provide ad adequate reporting or accurate reporting on a regular basis. Relationship is important, as, as I said, and uh, we ensure that we've got a good open dialogue at all levels, from, uh, you know, from engineering level through management level and executive level, that, uh, that everyone's talking and everyone knows what's going on and there's no surprises. From un underpinning all of that, uh, we're only a small company, but we do have, do have significant financial strength. Also, we always operate with solid cash reserves that uh, provide at least four months uh, of operating costs. So uh, again, it's important to keep that, to keep the stress down. From an overview point of view, the, uh, on larger projects, we, uh, we'd like to have project sponsor type role. Uh, and that would be one of the executive team. And if you look at uh, Aidan, Andrew and myself, I think we've got uh, about 115 or 117 years of, uh, of experience in the business. So uh, there's a lot of, uh, lot of knowledge in all of that, which adds value to uh, uh, when you get into the, some of the tricky areas of uh, delivering projects. What you get out of all of that approach is uh, uh, when you award the, the contract, you know that the price is right. So uh, everyone's focused on getting the job done, not on, getting, not on variations. That you'll have accurate reporting so that uh, internally you can provide the, uh, the, the level of reporting you need to upstairs to, with cash flow and progress. You'll also have a good time because working with us is it's more than just a job. It's a relationship. We like to have fun and enjoy what we're doing. So we invite you to be part of that as well. And lastly, our aim is to ensure that, uh, that all of you project managers can sleep well at night not worrying about what you don't know or, what's, uh, or what might happen because it's all being covered and uh, there's no secrets. So that's it in a nutshell. Thank you.